Hey guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Simulator 2014. If you've been watching my videos, we've been doing the Pacific Surfliner route, which goes from LA to San Diego. So let's go ahead and get into the career scenarios here. Waste no time at all. You can see I've done riding the surf one, two, and three. We're going to be playing Big Bay, Big Bay Boom. Try to say that ten times real quick. Bet you can't do it. Anyways, basically we are the engineer of an Amtrak. It actually has dual engines or dual diesels, one on the front, one on the back, instead of the cab car on the back like normal. It's a special car. It consists of um, eight passenger cabs, I believe is what it's saying. And we're currently at Sorrento Valley and we're heading up to San Diego. But as you know, right outside Sorrento Valley is Miramar Hill. So we're going to have to go through that, which is basically my favorite portion of the um, of the riding the surf route to begin with. So it sounds like this should be pretty fun. I'm not sure if there's any fireworks involved. Let's go ahead and get the scenario loaded up. And a couple things we'll probably talk about later. I've been setting up the studio like I've been talking about in my uh, previous videos. I actually uh, haven't made a video because I've been trying to install this stupid Aver Media capture card. I had um, a lot of joy when I figured everything out and a lot of frustration trying to get everything to work together. Ended up having to download a virtual sound card to get it to work properly with my USB headset which was an absolute pain in the ass. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I believe we've got to load passengers right here. All right, we'll proceed to San Diego. Let's check out the task list real quick. And thanks to uh, my buddies. Oh, let's see, the passengers are on board already. Jesus Christ, that was quick. I was going to put the handbrake on and take off the train brake thanks to the comments, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to be happening. So it looks like we're heading through um, Old Town or up to Old Town then San Diego after that, which takes us right through Miramar Hill, which I believe is right after this. And let's get our cab light on because I can't see a goddamn thing in here. It says it has two engines, so let's go to the back. There you go. And uh, we already have to slow down up here, getting into the hill, it looks like. Down to 40 miles an hour, so let's go ahead and get off the throttle a bit there. See if we can level everything out. Gonna apply some brake. And hand brakes off there to make sure on that. Looks like we're um, going to start the ascent right now. And just want to make sure I stay around 40 miles an hour, go up to 50 and then back down to 45 here in a second. And uh, if I was using the rail driver, I'd be using the dynamic brake right now. Uh, it's too complicated and too hard for me to, to change it over with the mouse and back over. So I'm just going to leave it as I have it. Look good for a clear run into San Diego. We expect to be the Amtrak train 595 on double track south, blah, blah, blah. Not a problem. It means we'll be driving by a train at some point. And you can 
hear the squills on a track. Yeah, I gotta get down to 30 miles per hour coming up here. Just wanna make sure I have the e-brake off there. And making our way through the hills here. We'll be reaching the top in uh, about 1.8 miles, 1.9 miles. Let's go ahead and get a quick train by here. And again, we're running full settings, <laughs> excuse me, an SLI through the Avermedia capture, uh, capture card. Had to get everything in my power to get this card to work from working in the BIOS to doing all sorts of other crazy shit. And uh, typically computers don't make me mad. I understand that you sometimes you have to find a workaround or look things up yourself. It's not a PS3 or an Xbox. But this thing just uh, really, really fucking pissed me off, which is pretty rare. Especially with computer stuff. Usually I'm good with computer stuff. I've been playing video games since they had to type in you know, CD backslash and DOS and all that other stuff, so I'm sure all you other middle-aged gamers out there understand what I'm talking about. Playing games on floppy drive and four CDs or anything else were out. I'd hate to see what the specs of those old computers are. I know I've got one or two laying around somewhere here. And winding up through the hills right now. And I'm just using the handbrake to slow down as needed. And absolutely love the picture of the uh, train snaking through the hills here. So yeah, I'm getting my studio together. Uh, my new computer coming in is actually in the burn-in phase right now, so it's getting getting pretty close. I still got a uh, a TV to mount. I need to mount two computer monitors. Once I get that done, I'll probably go ahead and take a video, even though I won't be completely finished. But at least it will be somewhat uh, somewhat presentable to the YouTube fans out there. Speaking of YouTube fans, hey, I appreciate all the comments. I had, I think. 60 plus comments on the uh, Riding the Surf part one video and I try to reply and, and like all the, the comments on there. So again, I uh, learned a lot reading through some of the comments that I didn't know. I appreciate all those who are helping out a fellow train enthusiast here. Um, and I've only been playing train simulators since, you know, probably a couple months ago. So this is all relatively new to me. Uh, but feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're watching the video. Again, leave me comments, uh, call me an asshole, whatever you want to do. So we're going from 50 to 30 to 50 as we reach the top of the hill here. I believe this is also a station you can stop at in some of the scenarios. Cumbres. Yeah, it's not something the white man can say. No offense. Again, it's going to stay at under 30 until we hit that 50 marker.
I'll let it coast here just for a second. I know we're, we're about to head downhill. It looks like we can pick up the speed quite a bit. We still got a little bit over 11 miles to go, and that's uh, not really a small length, not really a technically a long length either, but doing 30 miles an hour, that would take quite a long time. So the sooner we can pick this baby up and get moving forward, the better. And here we go. It looks like we can go ahead and pick up some speed here. I just want to make sure not to go over 50 right here. I think you can creep up on it quite quick, yeah, as I'm doing right now. I'm going to make sure it's a gradual increase, so by the time that back cart hits 65, we're not speeding, which we are going to be speeding here in a second. Ooh, that was close. Definitely could have been caught out speeding right there, so i got to be a little bit more careful on what I'm doing. Especially heading downhill like I am right now. So yeah, if uh, any of you guys need help with the Aver Media, feel free to email me, post a comment, write me personally, whatever the hell you want to do. I can definitely help you out in getting that set up. Um, I had to download a virtual audio card to make it work properly using USB headphones without having to worry about uh, plugging in speakers and having the speaker game volume come through along with the uh, actual game volume you're recording. I know that probably doesn't make sense what the hell I'm saying, but if any of you guys record yourself, then you can uh, definitely understand there's more challenges when you're recording the software, your voice, and what you're hearing on headphones as well. Alright, so we're heading to Old Town, just under 10 miles to go. Seem to be doing okay. So far, haven't fucked up, so what okay means. Completely sober today. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? It's hard to say. Oh, and here's that train that we're supposed to be meeting. Get a little high. So let's go ahead and get on the outside here. Watch this thing roll by. Now that's, that's typically how you'd see the back of the Amtrak right there. That's the cab car that the uh, engineer would drive through. As you can see on the one we're driving, it's a special 4th of July. We have two engines because of the extended length. Looks like we can get a 10 mile increase here. And our ETA is still good. We're going to come in so far about, was that about 50, 40 seconds sooner, somewhere in there. It's hard for me to see, it's uh, fairly small at the bottom left there. And I'm trying to focus on a couple other things too. Do I have my handbrake on? I do, that's what's going on. It's like, man, I'm not really accelerating that fast considering I'm at 62%. And then I realized I got the handbrake on, so I need to be careful with that. Make sure not to go over 70 right here. That'd be bad news. Bad news bears, right? And as you can see with the capture card, I'm getting much, much smoother frame rate. I know I was complaining about that in the past three videos. Finally got that fixed. I'm getting a really, really smooth frame rate. The game still slows down, but I'm getting such higher frames right now that it uh, doesn't really show up in the video, which is a good thing. I gotta get down to 50. I didn't even see that. And down to 35. So I need to go ahead and break here. Go. 
And it's going down to 35 here if you look at the graph at the bottom. Again, getting closer to uh, Old Main Town. Let's just say Old Town, excuse me. We're going to Old Town and uh, main, main track number two there. Break on? Yeah, I do. I'm still gaining speed, which is not what I want. Just need to make sure to keep that under control. And uh, I believe we're getting to the bottom of the hill at this point. And we'll start leveling out as well as picking up speed until we get a little bit closer to Old Town. And then I believe we'll head, head into San Diego after that, right? Yeah, via, so going to San Diego via Ash after that. Looks right, so like I can go ahead and pick up speed. Get another look on the outside. See all the visual effects. Even at nighttime, I mean, to me it's gorgeous. I know some people have said the graphics on this game aren't very good. Um, you know, if you look at stuff up close, at textures and everything up close, I think it's quite good. And let's see, no handbrake looks good. Don't want to speed before we hit that 79 here. Get up to about 65 here until we hit the next 75. Seems like I have yet to get a break on the speed limits. I just want a, a long bit of open track, which I think comes before San Diego. You have quite an open space before you get into town, if I remember right. And I did get a comment on the uh, the windscreen, how it's always dirty in these scenarios. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I did notice it. It'd be nice if you started off with a clean windshield, and it would get dirty over time. And I know you have like that scenario, uh, what is it, the CS wash and go, career scenario wash and go, where you can actually go through the, uh, the washing machine. I'm not sure if that would actually take the grime off this track. Or this engine. I wonder if you could actually put this in that scenario. I doubt it, but uh, that'd be pretty neat if you could. Okay, so just over three and a half miles to go. Got a bit of break in the speed right here. I'm assuming it's going to be going down fairly soon. Again, if you're just tuning in, it's the Middle Age Gamer. We're playing, was it Big Bay Boom, which is a special night run into San Diego, going through the hills. And I'm assuming we're going to see some fireworks at the end. I'm not sure if they could actually program in that in this game without hitting two frame rates per second, but we'll see what happens. And it looks like we're still about a minute ahead, a little over a minute ahead, which is good. Coming into Old Town. Just getting under 70 here for this short period. 
looks like we'll be slowing down into the station here fairly soon. And I haven't been really paying attention to the track to see if there's any whistles or anything, but it's nighttime. I figured I don't really want to piss anybody off. I'm going to go ahead and cruise the rest of the way. As you know, the Amtrak brakes are absolutely insane feel like you're breaking like a Ferrari or something. Taking off, not so much. I feel like I have to use a sander taking off without um, getting wheel slip. Alright, just over a half mile to Old Town. We'll be uh, making a short stop in here before heading towards San Diego. Forgot we do have a slightly bigger train. Let's make I think that makes a little bit of a difference. Still amazing braking capability. Let's go ahead and almost overshot that. Hopefully I didn't overshoot that. Good, I was able to get that. I'll go ahead and leave the emergency brake on and take the train brake off. Thanks for all the uh, YouTube comments for that tip. That way I don't have to wait for the air to release in the brakes before taking off. It looks like it's going to be a slow stop since it got here pretty early. Put me back on the timetable, I'm assuming. And then we'll be heading to San Diego via Ash. And look, San Diego's only... 3.23 miles so if you watch this far you might as well watch it all the way into San Diego otherwise you know what's what's the fucking point if you get bored have a beer take a smoke whatever you gotta do as you can see I mean when you get up close on these textures I mean it's just amazing how detailed everything is and uh, I know people say well it doesn't have good graphics well show me a train game that looks like this I mean, look at Ship Simulator. I mean, I love that game, but Jesus Christ, the graphics suck on Ship Simulator. This is something that uh, you should be able to live with, in my opinion. Not as nice as some of the other interiors I've seen. Pretty basic, obviously. lighting effects are, are very very nice when you have those on. problem with this game if you don't have like a super high end rig, it, to me it's, it's hard to run with TSX mode on just because it's such a, a killer to your frame rate luckily I got the, the Avermedia capture card even with the, uh, the pain in the ass it was, it was still worth it by getting uh, better frame rates in my recordings to, to make my videos better for you guys out there to pulled up a bit more. Hopefully I don't get penalized for leaving that passenger cart off. Usually it doesn't, but we'll uh we'll find out. got 350 which is what we wanted that 
That's a much better start. It's a good thing because you're not waiting for the air to release out of the train brake, which takes a few seconds. And it's much harder to get going. So far, I mean, I'm already up to 10. Usually, I'd have to be up to almost 80% to even get moving. Still going to be a little bit uh, cautious on just putting up to 100%. Just gradually increase. That way, I don't have any issues. And again, we're only about uh, a little under four miles to go to San Diego via Ash, so we'll be getting there in a minute. may be a quiet zone, but uh, let's give it a little hello. And as you can see, he's in the cab car controlling the, um, the locomotive from that back cab car. As you can see, the guy get down to 50 miles per hour here. And as we get into San Diego, you'll probably see quite a bit more detailing too. And uh, I see some whistle signs. I'm going to go ahead and refrain. I don't want to piss anybody off. They could uh, never know. Come to my door with my ass. Who knows? It's quite a bit of drop in miles per hour coming up. Got to be under 15 miles per hour to go through the Ash Station up there. And that is definitely a slow speed. It still seems like it's breaking really, really good. Almost too good, even with the uh, the longer train there. Probably could have uh, turned the brakes on a bit later there. It's all right though. You live and you learn. Hopefully, I'll get the uh, the gold star and move on with my life. Gold star means you've been a good boy at school, so that's definitely what I need right there. Yeah, definitely could have braked a little bit later. Oh, I see fireworks off in the distance. Look at that. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I know it said fireworks, but I didn't think they were going to be able to program without killing my computer. Make sure. Yep, okay. Just checking my e-brake. Make sure. Again, gotta do 15 miles per hour through this section here. And 
just bring up my task list real quick. Oh, I gotta pick up passengers right here. Okay, so this looks like the end of the track here where the... This is San Diego, alright. I guess I just passed Ash Main, which is fine. get stopped here there you go and let's load up some passengers unload the passengers and enjoy the fireworks show off in the distance again appreciate you guys watching middle age gamer we'll check out my uh, career tab here in a second and then that'll be it for the video Hopefully I'm not going to get a delay because it feels like it's taking forever to load and unload the passengers. I guess I always could have been a little bit quicker, but we'll find out what kind of score it gives me, if it gives me any tardiness or not. Hopefully not. Alright, got an A+, plus, top of the class. Not sure what that means. We'll find out here in a second. Alright, delivering by just in time for the big show to start. In the night sky, scenario complete. Let's go ahead and get out of this. So it didn't give me a penalty, which is good. I actually got two achievements there. So no penalty, which is good. Let me see my ranking. Where am I at? 172nd. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right, let's go back to look at my tab real quick. And let's get in the career tab. I want to see what those two achievements were. There we go. So it was the A+. Plus. Completed the career scenario. Big Bay Boom. Boom without penalty. And the other one was completed the scenario. Big Bay Boom with at least 800 points. There you go. So you can see I'm level 6 right now. Uh, 3970 XP. Got a couple friends. One's definitely higher than me right there. Shout out to whoever that is. Stino Blackhawken. That's how you say it. Not quite sure. Got another hazy Sarcany play in there. Let's see if anybody else is on here real quick. There you go. 229 Alex. I think he commented on my YouTube clips a couple times. Level 4, shout out to you. Yeah, looks to be about it. Again, hey, it's the Middle Age Gamer here. I'm going to be bringing some more videos to you as soon as possible. Appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.